be a step. But you need to know that no matter what you're going through, God allowed it. Because right. God already saw that you were strong enough. Here's your condition right now. If you're sitting in this room, God said you're strong enough to handle your homelessness. That's right. You're strong enough to handle your addiction right now until you get out of it. Man. But that strength is what we can day by day by day. You don't know the hour, minute, or second. You might drop dead on the next bar, the next drink, the next sex act. Could be your last time. Amen. Could be your last time. You play Russian roulette with your spirit. Oh, amen. How do you know Russian roulette? Oh, yeah. Now watch this. It ain't one bullet in the gun. It's five bullets of one blank. Amen. So every time you click, boom, that's the grace of God. You blow your head off. Amen. 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 First Corinthians. Remember what I said. He allows certain things. 1013. That's um, First okay. Corinthians 1013. There has no, see that? There has no temptation taking you, but such is common to man. That means everything you've gone through, everybody else went through it too. In some form of fashion. Amen. You are not special because you're going through something. Amen. Why? What does it say? But God is faithful. Who will not above that you are able. So whatever you're going through, God said you're strong enough to hell it. Amen. 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 But will with the temptation also make a what? Way to escape that you may be able to bear it. Now, every time you're going through something, he provides a way of escape. But if you trust in man, mm -hmm. in man, if you're trusting in your boss, if you're trusting in your bishop, your apostle, your Thank you. 